Hello, welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. For this tutorial, I will discuss the spherical and chromatic aberration in mirrors and lenses and how to fix them. In optics, Aberration simply means the failure of light rays to converge as a single focus. So ideally, there should only be one focus for mirrors, but due to aberration, it is possible that you will have more than one point at which your light rays are going to converge. There are two types of aberration for lenses and mirror. We have spherical aberration and chromatic aberration. Spherical aberration in mirrors. This problem arises because incident rays that are close to the principal axis, such as these red rays here, or denoted by the red arrows, would converge at a location that is quite relatively far from the mirror compared to the rays that are away, that are far from the principal axis because these green rays here, once they would hit the mirror, they would be reflected and converge at a point that is relatively closer to that of the mirror. So as a result, we have uh, many focal points and having many focal points will give us or will produce a blurry image. To correct this aberration, then instead of having a spherically shaped mirror, it is advisable that the mirror B would have a shape of a parabola or a parabolic shape because it is a characteristic of a parabolic shaped mirror that no matter where the incident rays are, be it far or close to the principal axis, once they hit the mirror, they would all strike at one focal point and this results to a sharp and clear image. Spherical aberration in lenses. Now for lenses, incident rays would be able to pass through the lens and gets refracted. And this aberration occurs because rays that are farthest from the optical center are bent the most. It is again a characteristic of um, this lens. So if you notice here, since the rays that are far from the optical center, they are bent the most, they converge at a at a different point compared to those rays that are much closer to the optical center. So this gives rise to many focus and again having many focus means a blurry image. To correct this form of aberration, we have two possible solutions. The first solution is by using or by varying the radius of curvature at the lens. So we have something that is most thick at the center. So this is a solution because the light rays that would pass through the center of the lens would tend to be slowed, uh, would be slowed down compared to the other parts of the lens. So this happens. So the moment that the rays from this point here would cross the principal axis over here, it is just enough for the rays that passes through the center to reach at that particular point. So because of the difference in the speeds of the waves in this situation, it would allow them to converge at one particular location. The next solution is by adding a divergent lens after the converging lens. So with the presence of a diverging lens, instead of the light rays going to this point here, the presence of a diverging lens would allow the rays to um, diverge or spread until such, until, and then it allows the rays to converge at a different location, gi giving rise to a single focal point, a single focus. Chromatic aberration. The reason why chromatic aberration arises is because different colors of light are associated with different indices of refraction. Take note that violet has a greater index of refraction compared to red. So, for example, if we have two lights or two waves going through the same medium, one is colored violet and the other one is colored red, though the medium is the same for both, but the indices of refraction would actually be different for violet and that of red. And this has something to do with the wavelength of light 
and how it interacts with the electrons in the medium. Now, since violet has a greater index of refraction than that of red, it is bent more. So let's look at this illustration over here. Violet gets bent more and it is for that reason that it will converge at a focal point that is much shorter compared to the focal point where the red light is going to converge. So having this would mean that we would not get a very clear image because we have different focal points. A solution to chromatic aberration is a combination of two lenses. We have one convex, this is the convex lens, and the other one should be a concave lens. And we have to make sure that these lenses are made up of different materials. So that's why the first lens or the concave lens could be made of a crown glass and the concave lens could be made of a flint glass. And it has it is very important that um, the, the convex lens or the end of the convex lens should be much lesser compared to the index of refraction of the concave lens. This is how to fix chromatic aberration. And that concludes our tutorial on aberration. Always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.